All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me here on Mod Monday. The mod we're going to be talking about this week, this little guy right here. It's been about two months. I've spent two solid, solid months with the Joytech Cuboid 150 watt. feel comfortable talking about it now. It's a 150 watt box. It does temperature control for nickel, titanium, and stainless steel 316. It also has two custom TCR modes, which... I'll be upfront and honest about, I have not messed with at all. But in order to get to know this device just a little bit better, what we're gonna do is go up close, as we always do. Quick, short, uppy, closey time. You know what? I forgot to adjust my temperature on here, so it's gonna be a second. Now we can do a quick, short, uppy, closey time. <clears throat> all right, yeah, what we have here is the Joytech Cuboid 150 watt device, temperature control device. Not a bad looking device overall. Fits really nicely in the hands. It has this sort of black stripe here, and this is where your display is going to be. Up down buttons are down here, and the up down buttons aren't labeled. Mine aren't labeled. These aren't labeled up or down or up or down. This could be up. This could be down, this could be up, this could be down. You don't know, you don't know until you turn it on. Of course, mine says sample, not for sale, which is what they stamp on all the review units that they send out, but this is a stainless steel spring-loaded 510 connection there. It actually works really nice, never had any connection issues with it. USB seems awkwardly placed. Now, you don't use this USB for charging, you use it for upgrading your firmware, and I don't know, it's just in a weird, place. It just seems so random to have it right there as opposed to, I don't know, right here maybe? Or uh, somewhere, somewhere else? Right here maybe? I don't know. Just seems awkwardly placed to me. It's not a big deal. And Joytech went ahead and engraved Happy New Year Nick Green on my cuboid, which again is always nice but doesn't necessarily make it a great mod. The finish on this, super nice. It just feels like a high quality device. The button is nice and clicky not rattly at all. And here's your battery door on the bottom with little vent holes for the battery. You kind of get in here with your fingers. Boom, it just pops open like that. And it's clearly marked positive and negative, positive and negative. So we're gonna take this battery, we're gonna put it so the positive is touching that. We're gonna take this battery, we're gonna put it so the negative is touching that. And then, as soon as you close this, you'll kind of see it spring to life. It says, Nick Green, and there's your display right there. Interesting though, it shows you both batteries, and which is strange because this generally drains batteries very evenly. You'll see both your battery indicators going down very evenly, and I don't know which battery is represented where. This one, I'm assuming, is this one, right? And this one, like if you turned these parallel, that they would line up with the batteries that are in here right now. I actually just took these batteries off the charger, and I see that one of them is fully charged, and one of them is halfly charged. This was on my Joyfest, uh, Joyfest, E-Fest charger, and I've been suspicious of it not charging batteries evenly. So, hmm, let me get some different batteries. Much better, much better. Shows you both your batteries, which I think is kind of a cool little feature in there. Now, this is going to show you your wattage, your volts, your coil resistance, and the amp load applied to the coil. So much like the Evic VT and the Evic VT Mini, three clicks, one, two, three, will give you the ability to start changing things. If you go on the left side, you can change this to say time, you can change it back to your amp limit, you can show it how many puffs you've taken, you can change it back to the time. Let's leave it at the amp limit. So one more click this way, we'll change from power to temperature nickel, temperature titanium, temper, temperature stainless steel 316, and then there is a custom TCR mode in there, and then you go back to power. And what I'm gonna do to shock everybody is I'm gonna rock it on temperature nickel mode. What? Sorry, not temperature nickel mode, temperature titanium mode. Come on, Nick. So I've got it all set up in temp mode, titanium. I have it set to 400 degrees, and just to show you how quick this display changes, it goes in 10, you know, degree increments. So four, 10, there's, but it's four, 400 degrees or 410. There's no 402, there's no 405, there's no 409, it's just 410. And if you hold it down, it just jumps to 600. And if you hold it down, 
boom, it just jumps to 200. So it's really, really fast. I find it easier to just click your way to the correct temperature. So we got it set to 400 degrees. We have it set to 91 watts. And the way that you change your wattage and lock your resistance on this, one, two, three, click that, click left, and that is allows you to adjust your wattage. And you can only adjust your wattage up. And when you get to the top, when you get to the maximum, 150, let's watch it go. Click it one more time, and it goes back down to 1. And then you have to adjust it up. You can only adjust your wattage up. So I'm going to leave that at 91 watts, and then I'm going to click it again and go down to the coil. Now it's unlocked. Now it's locked. Now it's unlocked. Now it's locked. So I've accomplished everything I want to right now. I have it set to 400 degrees in titanium mode. I have it set to 91 watts, and I have my coil locked in at 0.23 ohms. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape this. Normal view. Normal view. Overall, the Cuboid feels really nice. It just feels like a nice, high-quality device. It feels durable. I really like the display. I really like the battery cover on the bottom, and I really like this single clicky button on the front. I wish the up-down buttons were marked, and I know that's a bit of a nitpick, but they're just not marked, and right is up and left is down. So if this is your only device and you remember that right is up and left is down, you'll have no problems. But for me, and I go around and I'm using this and I'm using that and I'm using this, and I grab this and I go, no, up. Oh no, that's down, that's right. I kinda have to remind myself every time. I kinda just wish they were marked. So since I have a dual titanium build on here, let's talk about the temperature control function really fast. It seems to work okay. Here's my issue with it. This is a 0.3 ohm dual 26 gauge titanium build on here. To get the vape I want from it, I have to set it to 94 watts and 500 degrees. And even then, it still isn't quite the vape that I want from it. If I set this same exact atomizer onto a DNA 200 device, I can set the temperature at 400 degrees and I can set the wattage at 90 watts and it gives me a nice, warm, intense vape. For some reason on the cuboid, now again, I'm not P. Bissardo. I don't have graphs and analytical machines to hook this up to. I feel like I'm not getting as much power at 500 degrees than I am at 400 degrees on a DNA 200. Do I have a DNA 200 handy? So I put this on a DNA 200, it's reading the same resistance. I have it set to 88 watts. I have it set to 400 degrees. I have it locked. 88 watts, 400 degrees. Much, much warmer way more intense, more like the vape I'm after. So why, when it's on a DNA 200 at 400 degrees, it's giving me this nice warm vape that I actually really enjoy, but on the cuboid, it's giving me like a really piddly, bleh, weak vape, and I have to turn it up to 500 degrees to get the vape I enjoy. So here's something very random I just discovered. So I have this set to 400 degrees again, 94 watts, it's reading my coil at a 0.23, right? At the resting right here, it's a 0.23. When I press the button, jumps up to 0.37, right? When I plug it on my DNA 200, I am fascinated right now. When I plug it on my DNA 200, the resting resistance says 0 0.30 ohms. So the resting resistance on the cuboid says 0.23 and the resting resistance on my DNA 200 says 0.32. What? One of them is wrong. Which one of them is wrong? How? I can't even tell you which one of them is wrong. Let's try another DNA 200 and see what it says. So I took the same velocity dual 26 gauge titanium build. I let it get down to normal room temperature. I haven't vaped it in about 10 minutes. I put it on my whiteout mod, and I want to check the resistance. It says 0.28. Okay, that's fine. Three different resistance readings, that's fine, right? Do you see why temperature control drives me fucking insane? But it's not about that. Back on the cuboid, we're at 500 degrees, 94 watts, 0.23 ohms. It's reading it the same now on all three mods once I let it get back down to room temperature. It's now actually giving me a vape. Look. 
all I want to do is not smoke cigarettes. I don't want to have to figure out heat coefficients. I mean, that's ridiculous. I like this build I have on here right now at a really high wattage and at a really high temperature, which to me defeats the purpose of temperature control. But this isn't a video about the temperature control rant. It's a video about the freaking Joytech cuboid. Now, size, it's got a nice clicky button. I rock it in wattage mode 90% of the time. In temperature mode, 500 degrees with titanium, yeah, sure, it's pretty good. I give it a very, very strong maybe. This could be, could be the perfect device for you. It's hefty, it feels nice, it feels way higher quality than the price they're asking for it. They're asking 40 bucks for this. If this was made in the States, this could be a 90 to $150 mod just because of how nice it feels. For a double 18650, it's rather small, but you know what? I got a little too rambly in this one. It is what it is. It's the Joytech Cuboid coming pretty highly recommended from me. Although it wouldn't be like an immediate purchase for me, I would strongly, strongly, strongly consider the Joytech Cuboid as an option. But that's what I got for today. I'll have links down in the description, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, boom, right there. Temperature control, baby. Let's keep on vaping. That's enough. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw, what we have here is the Joytech Cuboid 150 watt temperature control device. <laughs> what, what, what? <clears throat> All right, we, uh, nope.